Now I'm going to show you how to do a download using Daikin Container Communication System or DCCS 9.08. Go ahead and start the program. Click on Data Download. And once you get to the screen, you're going to see the location, the container number, serial number of the controller. And then click on All Data, All Term, and this is for warranty. Uh, if you want to do it by date, you can go to the date range here. Um, but for warranty purposes, we need all term, all data. Okay, and then click on download, and you'll see a progress bar here. And I'll go ahead and stop the video and return after it's done. Okay, the progress bar has uh, almost finished. Once it finishes, I'll show you where the download is located on your uh, computer or laptop. Okay, completed. So now if you want to see the download, you click on go back to DCCS software, click on make a report, and then you're going to go ahead and pick the download that you uh, just did. So it goes by container number container number date I'm sorry container number and then the date right here okay so you click on OK click on make a report uh, let's, let's click any of them and then you're gonna see the the graph here and this is the what we call the graph okay um, if you want to see uh, Actually, down here you can click on uh, set point, ambient temperature. Uh, we want to see the spot sensors, humidity sensors, if it has it, uh, spot RS, control temp, and then print and preview item. Uh, you can have your options down here uh, if you want to know the DTMS uh, alarm. Um, and then also you can uh, zoom or select. So if you want to see a certain range, uh, you can see that. And so you can let see a little bit more detail. You can see the timeline a little bit better and your temperatures uh, here. Right. So if you want to see a text view, <coughs> you can go here. Let's widen this up a little bit. <coughs> So you have your header up top, Daikin temperature, uh, communication system, container number, software revision, uh, what controller it is, and the serial number and download date. And if we scroll all the way back, so we did a download today. Right. Uh, actually, the date is incorrect on this this uh, controller, but. Uh, here you can see kind of the example F603. Um, alarm on this one. All right. So uh, for warranty pur purposes, you do not uh, do not save the download. Okay. I'm going to show you now where the download the raw file is located in your computer. So right now, open up uh, Explorer, not Internet Explorer. Uh, Windows Explorer and you're going to go to your C drive alright it's going to be C colon backslash and then default download and this is where you're going to attach grab the the download and you can grab it and put it anywhere you want on your computer um, or when you email it you would grab it from this location so it's going to be C colon black backslash default download. 